What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Fro. Welcome back yet again to a nerdy video. And today, I'm making a list on my opinion, by the way. So don't get mad if you don't agree with it. It's my opinion. But making a list on today of what I think is the best. Rating the, the worst Magic games to the best. My favorite to the worst, you know. So, um, yeah, I only picked the ones that have, well, almost all the ones that have a 4.0 and up. I didn't pick uh, Pop Scene, uh, Mukasa, as you said, or Sure Shot, because them ones are, let's just say, not the greatest ones at all. And I did choose Weekend Words, even though Weekend Words has a 3.6, but uh, it's still a good game I want to put on this list. So, anyways, uh, enjoy this list. And uh, starting off with number one, this is going to be not my favorite one. Uh, I have to say, Backwards. Because Backwards was a when it came out, it was all right, everybody was hyped about it. But then, once we found out that uh, you couldn't uh, choose your own character in the world, that really made everybody mad. So, uh, that's one reason. And another reason is upgrading. I kind of regret upgrading for that game. You want to know why? Because uh, when you upgraded, you didn't. You could edit the characters, but when you went into battle to battle with the characters, it would randomly select a character, and you couldn't choose which character you wanted. Which, like in Super City Battle, he should have made like a Super City Battle, but you couldn't do that, which was very stupid. Uh, and he still, I, I, I wish he would update the game and add it like that. I'll play backwards a lot more, but he still hasn't, so feels bad. We're just thus my next one is have to be the U Testament. Uh, you, guys, uh, you guys know I didn't even play U Testament a lot on my channel, bro. Uh, I don't like the whole storyline part. I like free. I would really like free to play free world games. I don't like having to complete all the missions on there. It's too many missions, and uh, I never even tried to play the game after it deleted my world, bro. I had uh, I was recording next, you know, it just it crashed me out the app. I logged back in and it wouldn't let me continue the world, and I was super mad, bro. And I never played it ever since. So, mate, let me guys know if you want another let's play on that. But yeah, uh, that's my opinion on you know, the U Testament. Uh, it was an okay game. He could have done a lot of stuff better on it, like have a free to play world and like a mission mode or something like that. But uh, yeah, and you were very limited to the stuff you could do in the game, too. So, yeah, that's another team. All right, my next one will have to be the U. No, I already said, dang, I already said the U Testament. It would have to be the, dang, uh, I know the name, uh, Weekend Words. Okay, dang, there we go. All right, Weekend Words because, um, Weekend Words is a good game, but it does not compare to, uh, Ratchet Revolution 3D. Ratchet Revolution 3D was way better than it, bro, because Weekend Words has a stupid career mode. The career mode is honestly retarded, bro. Let's be honest, bro. It's not good at all because, like, look. I don't know if you guys remember, it. remember how every time I used to, every time I used to go to the office, right, with the talk to the dude in the office, the manager, he will always say, you should drop down to a lower weight, like every single day, and it was so annoying, so I finally, I finally clicked the yes, next thing you know, they started asking me, you should go back up to another weight, so, and I was so stupid, and it kept doing that, and I went back down to another weight, and it kept asking me to go back up, and it was so Stupid, bro. Y'all don't understand, bro. Y'all understand the struggle having that game. And overall, the game was just too easy, even on hard mode, and uh, not a lot of diversity and stuff into the game. And uh, yeah, that's my opinion. It's still a fun. It was stupid fun game to play. I used to love knocking people out in that game. I still do play every once in a while, but um, I still need to finish my micro or on you know. But uh, yeah, that's my opinion on uh, Weekend Warriors. All right, my next game will have to be uh, Extra Lives. You guys remember Extra Lives on the channel? That's what most of you guys know. Most of you guys probably came from either Extra Lives or uh, Wreck. And uh, Extra Lives was overall a great game, another revolutionary game for the time, and uh, super fun and addicting to play. And it brought so much stuff into the game, like uh, cars. Wait, did cars come in? Did they come in Super City? I think I don't know. I think they no. I think cars came in extra lives. But anyways, cars came in and it was super amazing using them. Even though he should have upgraded the durability on them because when you ran into a some, anything, it would blow up and it was so annoying. Like sometimes you get cars that didn't blow up and sometimes you did. Most yeah, most of the times you got cars that blew up on impact on anything, which was stupid. But um, 
overall a really great game uh really addictive and fun to play you know i got some great memories on that game you know uh found out a lot of easter eggs or stuff like that but um anyway yeah that's my pick on uh what's the name uh extra rise all right my next pick is super city and super city oh i mean my next pick is all right my next pick is school days school days overall was a really great game but uh like I said, like I always say, and he's super duper fun to have. Even though, super, I mean, School Days for me wasn't really the greatest game. It's still on my, it's still on my greatest, it's still on my list, in like top five or something like that. Because it was super fun to play. I played it a lot over the summer, bro. And uh, like just going up the grades, I, I always started in the grade that I was actually in. And but um, yeah, it was super fun playing. It basically was like a life simulator. In a way, but in the same way, reminded me too much of a uh, hard time. It was too similar to hard time, in my opinion. And uh, uh, it wasn't that similar, but it has some. It had like almost the same elements as hard time, which is why it's kind of ranked lower. It would be higher if it had more elements, but it was basically like a re skin of hard time, just with a couple more new features in, which was fine for the time. It was amazing to play. You know, anytime I did release any type of game, it was amazing to play. You know. So, um, yeah, that's my list on Super City. I mean, School Days, dang. All right, my next game will have to be Super City. And, uh, oh, my God, bro, this one, bro. Ooh, this one was probably the great, not the greatest Matt Dickey game, but on the top three list, definitely. That part, I don't even know, bro, but definitely on, like, my top, no, like, my top five or three in terms of Matt Dickey games, Super City is definitely up there. So, um. Over like overall, Super City was revolutionary. You could fly, you could laser people, you could hawk smash. Oh my God, that was my favorite move. I still do play Super City to this day. I remember my first video on it, bro. I remember I had a serious on there. Andre Bane, you guys remember that? Super Bane. Oh yeah, I think yeah, I think name was Super Bane, bro. But um, yeah, bro. I was like Super City was definitely revolutionary for its time again. You know. But Super City was probably the most revolutionary game ever for Matt Dickey because it just brought so much stuff into the game. And, uh, like, I, like, the fact that you could fly around, create your own superhero was just out, just amazing at the time, bro. So, um, uh, yeah, bro, I bet, you, I bet a lot of you guys have fun playing that game. Definitely on my top three list in terms of Matt Dickey games. All right, and my next pick would have to be uh ooh, wrestling revolution 3d this one was amazing bro i know i said uh hard time was my first ever mad dick game i ever played but i remember that actually was wrestling revolution 3d because i remember i went to the library one day to download some games because we didn't have internet at our house at the time so i would go to the library a couple of days like every like week i would go to the library to get new games and uh on my tablet or whatever it was and one game i saw this wrestling game and it was mad dicky I didn't know it was by Mac Dick at the time. I didn't realize until like I just now started remember this uh like a month ago that I just remember that actually Rest Revolution 3D was actually my first Mac Dick game I ever played. I wasn't good at it. I wasn't good at it though, let's be honest. I was trash, bro. I think it was because I had the difficulty up way too high. I don't know. I was a little kid, I didn't know much about rest. All I knew was about John Cena and Roman Reigns at the time, you know. I did not I was a big wrestling fan. But was not good at the games at all. But this one was still very fun to play. And uh, I remember having a lot of fun on it. It was very confusing that first plan. But yeah, still. Uh, I would rank this probably top three. Yeah, because this game was super fun. Another, a revolutionary game. You know what I'm saying? All right. You guys should know this one. The last and final game. My favorite Mad Dicky game of all time. You guys should know it. Uh, it would have to be Wreck 2D, bro. This game was. This game added new controls in, new animals, new animations. It was you could rip off people's body parts, literally rip them off, bro. This game was insane, bro. Like I don't know where he came with the ideas for this game at, but Matt Dicky, if you're watching this video. Wreck was a genius idea, bro. Wreck 2D was so genius, bro. Another reason why Wreck is ranked number one for me is because, you know, it's the literally the life of my channel. My YouTube channel would not exist without Wreck, bro. 
If I didn't do rec, I would not have the many subscribers I have right now. I literally like, like I said, a good 70% of you guys probably came from rec. No, I, I'm tripping. Like 70, 60%, you know, can't of you guys might have came from rec. My rec series. Uh, my most viewed video has 70k views. We just it just hit 70k views today. So thank you guys for that. Thank you guys for the support. And uh, you know. Rec was just the game that really brought my channel to life, bro. Without Rec, my channel would be nothing right now. I probably be at like, I probably would have just hit 1K, bro. I probably would have just gave up, but no. But I thank Matt Digger for making this game. It really did change my life, actually. And uh, you know, I'm really grateful for that. And uh, it was a really great game overall. Had so much fun. It's never boring ever, bro. It's actually never boring. I remember all the videos I made on it, bro. Just a great overall great game, and that's why it's ranked number one. You guys, let me know your list in the comment section. That's basically the end of this video. Anyways, your boy, you're on front, and I'm out. Peace. All right, and after editing the video, I did find out that I did miss uh one, and that was Wrestling Revolution 2D. Uh, I didn't put. I'm not gonna put Book on Revolution in because it's basically the same game, but uh, I would rank Wrestling Revolution. 2D between Super City. It will be between Super City and uh, School Days, cause you know I can't believe I forgot that game. That game is really fun. But anyways, uh, there go my list, and then let me guys know yours in the comment section. And I'm out. Peace.